hello 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 have you guys been looking for me well guess what you found me in the kitchen with angela i'm here i'm in the house meal prepping sunday yes i am meal prepping and guess what i'm doing today yes coming from my kitchen it's all things new orleans okay but it's gonna be a healthy recipe because i'm meal prepping okay and this is in the kitchen with Angela Curio Roots. Yes, I'm in the house today. And I have a bowl of cauliflower. You see that? So I skipped some steps. I didn't let you see that. I just wanted to go before you with a quick little video. What I'm doing is I'm making cauliflower mash instead of mashed potatoes. So I have some right here <clears throat> that I already set up and seasoned and look it's actually formed into mash right mashed potatoes so this is your healthy low carb meal okay and i already pre cut up and boiled my cauliflower but the thing is you don't even have to do that you can actually get cauliflower out of the freezer section that's right and you can do it the same way okay so you could take uh, your cauliflower from the freezer section, still put it on the stove, cook it about five to 10 minutes, and then you can let it cool down, but I'm gonna start mashing this. You know you have to drain it with the colander, okay? So I'm taking my potato masher, and there's a lot of liquid in here, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna get the liquid out by mashing this and then i'm gonna set it aside with the colander what i did yesterday i'm gonna show you a couple of techniques next time i do my video i'm gonna show you a couple of techniques but there's water in here so i'm gonna drain off the water because you don't want the water with your cauliflower mash so i'm just going ahead and getting it all mashed up and you can use a fine strainer to get the water off. You can use cheesecloth to get the water out as well. And it's coming together fine. All I did was I took some cauliflower, I put it on top of the stove and I boiled it for about 10 minutes. And you can see the water coming off of that too. So, you see the water coming off? Get as much as you can out. Whoa, yes. So, you don't want the water. So you get as much as that you, as you can out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add it in my blender okay and it's gonna come out really good I use a little cream with mine you can use milk if you like butter which I use real butter I'm not finished I have to finish up what I'm doing you gotta finish what you start you know so I'm just getting the water off as much water as I can. The way I did the method yesterday, I'm gonna show you guys one day. You're getting that water out of there as much as you can. Because you know all vegetables are full of water, right? So I'm draining the water off and then I'm adding it in. We're making cauliflower mash it's gonna be herbed okay yeah I like to get the water out you don't need all that water in there you don't want it to be soupy 
So I'm getting the water out as much as I can. And I'm gonna season it up pretty well. So that's what you do. Take it off the stove 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, drain it. Make sure I got this on here right. No, I don't. Now, now I see it. Now I have it on right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use Crush, okay? And I have a little cream. I'm gonna add a little cream as I go, okay? That's heavy cream evaporated milk, okay? Nothing special, but here we go. for Mother's Day and this is looking pretty good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Parmesan cheese in there and a little cream like a tablespoon not much it's just a tablespoon and this is for meal prep for the week get that down in there let everything blend together Lock the lid, power on. Okay. Take it off, shake it a little bit. Lock it back on and then hit it one more time. And there you have it. This is creamy mash. Look at that. Looks just like mashed potatoes. You're not missing anything. Then I'm going to drop it in my container here. And we're going to season it all up with some Parmesan cheese, some herbs, some butter. And this is a great dish, you guys. So there you have it. My version of cauliflower mash. No water in there. I'm going to add some pepper, some Creole seasoning to give it some flavor. Some Parmesan cheese. Some good old herbs. So there you have it. We have our mashed potatoes. Okay, you see that guys? Isn't that beautiful? And all you have to do is add what season as you want. I'm going to put some butter in there and some good old seasoning. So thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen each week. This is my version of cauliflower mash. See that? Great way to do for a meal for a week with low carbs, right? Yes. So thank you again for joining me on In the Kitchen with Angela. Creole Roots, all things New Orleans. Follow me on IG, follow me on Facebook, and of course my YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and invite others to my channel. Also, click the bell to be notified for when other videos drop. Have a great Sunday. Bye. How y'all like that? Cauliflower mash, you guys. Low carb, all the value and a good mashed potato without the potatoes. There you go, cauliflower mash, bam.